Welcome to another Mass Commission for the Blind Spotlight, produced by the Audible Local Ledger, part of the Massachusetts Audio Information Network. Today's Spotlight focuses on Claude Fournier. Diagnosed with a visual impairment at a young age, Claude Fournier pushed through the challenges he faced on the road to becoming the successful musician he is today. Now he's sharing his passion with others while inspiring them to be tenacious in their pursuit of making dreams a reality. Music has played a huge role in my life, he said during an interview with Mass Commission for the Blind intern Jackson Crilly. It helps me share my feelings and communicate with others. The 66-year-old Salem resident has been an MCB consumer for most of his life. He was born in Canada but relocated to western Massachusetts with his family when he was a toddler, which is when his parents and doctors noticed his vision wasn't stable. I was born albino, so my vision when I was a young child was kind of interesting, he recalled. Doctors tried using colored lenses and other methods to improve Claude's vision, but none were successful. A more accommodating doctor during his high school years provided him with large print books and better glasses, which he credits with his educational success. Inspired by his parents, he explored the musical programs at his high school. He took part in variety shows, musicals, and madrigals. He even conducted. My dad played the accordion and harmonica and would perform at bars, he said. My mother had a beautiful singing voice, but never performed due to nerves. After high school, he attended Longy School of Music at Bard College in Emerson College, where he obtained degrees in music. His instrument of choice? The piano. Wherever he went, he'd always look for one. He performed original songs and covers solo before eventually pairing up with other artists. I was a bit slow on getting a job, so music filled that role in my life for a little while, but it was hard to make ends meet, he said. Claude eventually found work with Verizon, where he stayed for 30 years. He credits the longevity of his career in part with the Americans with Disabilities Act, the ADA, for affording him visual accommodations and extended break periods. He recently started teaching piano and accordion lessons to people of all ages at Guitar Center in Danvers. What I like to impart on my students is to be the best you can be with what you have, he said. Sometimes you have to go through a challenge in order to figure out how to get by or get to the next level. Claude said he has found ways to compensate for his visual impairment by using accommodations and never giving up. And he also gives credit to MCB. MCB has been there to support me by providing items and services I need to greatly enhance my vision, he said. The Mass Commission for the Blind helped me find a way around my visual impairment through new software and special glasses. Claude also stressed the support he's received from his parents and spouse, which has been critical to his success. My lovely wife Suzanne has always supported me, he said. My parents supported me from the beginning and my dad would make sure I practiced. If not for him pushing me, I may never have pursued music, and music is very mentally supportive for me. Claude noted how people with various support needs can still be bonded together by an appreciation for music. During a recent July 4th event he performed at, he said he noticed a girl with significant disabilities in the crowd with her family. You could tell she was enjoying it, and that was very special to me, he said. That touched my heart. Claude encourages everyone, musician or not, to break out of their comfort zones and learn new things. For him, that's going to include performing songs by Bruno Mars and Adele, as well as the music used in video games. And you can contact Claude by email or join his Facebook group, Café Claude, where you can watch his shows.